Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I got the Downton Abbey cookbook and I am ready to try recipes out of here. Um, just like my other series with the Gilmore Girl cookbook, I am going to go through recipe by recipe. This one I might go through a little slower because some of the ingredients might be harder for me to procure. And it's going to take me a little more research for each one. Um, mainly how to pronounce words and where to find certain things. And some of the ingredients might have to be substituted for something else. And also, I am not in Europe or England. I am in the United States. And some of these ingredients may not be available to me. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get some of the things in this book. But for the most part, I'm really excited and I think it'll be a nice little culinary adventure to try out all these recipes. And I'm actually all ready to get started. I am going to start with the first one in the first section, which is breakfast. And we're going to start the kedgeri. Keep in mind that I'm just following the recipe in the book. I'm not in England and I'm not from England and I've actually never been to England unfortunately. So I don't have anything to compare some of these recipes to. So this is all new to me. So if I do something different or if I pronounce something wrong, please let me know and I will work harder to do it better next time. So with the Kedgeri, I've already made a bunch of rice and I've already hard boiled some eggs. To me, kachuri does not look like a breakfast dish because it's got fish and rice and the only thing breakfasty in it is the eggs. But I'm gonna do it. So here we go with kachuri. I'm gonna cook the fish, like one pound of white fish in the milk. And I've already messed up because I was supposed to get skin on fish and I did not. So hopefully it won't make much of a difference in preparation. It's still a little frozen, but it'll all cook there. I ended up with tilapia. It says you can use cod, haddock, any nice white fish would be fine for it. I'm sure any fish at all would be good. So let me go ahead and cook that. And we're probably going to just go ahead and fast forward to the next part. Okay, so the fish are looking nice and flaky. So we're going to take them out. Just put them on a plate for a minute. Let them cool down. I use 2% milk. It didn't say what kind of milk. I don't know if whole milk is going to make it any better or skill milk make it different. 2% is just what my family uses. Alright. Now we're going to put that to the side over here. We're going to start a new pan and we actually first have to melt some butter. All right, just stir it just to get it melted faster. I have it on high just to make it go faster but I need to turn it down. And now we gotta put in five cups of rice. So it did say white or brown rice. I chose brown. I thought it would make a nice color. Plus, it's better for you. I made the rice in my rice cooker before we started this. Now we're going to coat the rice with all the butter. 
five cups of rice. It's about five cups of rice. I did two and a half cups of rice and I added enough water that supposedly it's five cups, so maybe a little bit more. Let me add some stock. It's a quarter cup of fish or chicken stock. I did not find fish stock. I was gonna use it, but I can only find chicken stock. So that's what we're using today. And we're gonna coat it some more. All right, gotta add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That will definitely wake you up. And some salt and pepper to taste. Because I already have a lot of cayenne, I'm not going to put as much black pepper. And of course, stir that together. Now we're going to add in the fish and break it up into the rice. the flakes apart as you stir it in. That looks, that looks really good. <laughs> nice and mixed in together. Making a mess. I'm aware of that. All right, I need two thirds cup of heavy cream. And I have some eggs here. We're gonna whisk it all together. And I'm pretty sure this is the glue that sticks it all together. Oh my gosh. That's like mayonnaise. This is, I think this is how they make eggnog, honestly. So this creamy stuff folds right into here. Stick into the bottom of the pan a little bit. But I'm kind of getting it up. Mm, it smells delicious. Okay. We're going to turn it into this casserole dish here. to put it on individual plates but at the moment I'm the only one home. This is going to be my dinner tonight with my family. They're not quite home yet. Okay. Oh, it looks delicious. And of course we're going to do the garnish and all. So we're going to slice our hard boiled eggs on top. I am not very good at the visual art when it comes to food. There's one. This actually looks make it makes it look way more appetizing even with the hard boiled eggs. There's that. We're gonna do some fresh parsley on top. And there we have it. Cadbury. Maybe a tilapia. 
Um, I do know that there are other versions of Kedgeri. I keep saying Kedgeri, but it's Kedgeri. I do know that. So, but who's ready to see me try it? I know I'm ready to see me try it. Let's go see how it is. Okay, guys. Here we are with the Kedgeri. What I'm really impressed with is, besides the lack of fine china, my Kedgeri actually turned out looking a lot like the one in the book, which is a rarity for most recipes, so I'm pretty proud of it. I'm ready to try it. Oh, it's got a lot of spice to it. It's good though. It's really good. I feel like I didn't put enough salt in it. And Zeus is here with us to find out what it's all about. The fish is good. Cooking it in the milk made it a nice creamy texture. But it's delicious. I would not have this for breakfast. He might have this for breakfast, but it's definitely not something I would have for breakfast. But I am happy that I made it for dinner because I think it's a great dinner meal. Uh, we need to have some greens on the side, but otherwise, I like it. It's a lot spicier than I expected it to be. I, mean, I knew it had cayenne pepper, but I thought it stretched further in the dish. But otherwise, it's delicious. And I'm going to eat all of it. I will be back with more Eat Like a Girl More recipes. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because you're going to see more of these recipes along with many others. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.